Good morning guys. Excuse my voice. It's super raspy this morning. Alex has just made me a ginger tea actually. So I'm drinking that, but welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm actually just about to get ready to head to the post office and got a shipping notification that my Lolita apparel stock has come in. So that's very exciting. I also need to shoot some new content today because I've made some vases that I want to release soon. So I need to think of some cool ways to shoot that. I think I might stop past and get some flowers this morning after the post office as well. My voice, what is going on? Anyways, I'm gonna go and finish getting ready, dry my hair and things. I had been looking for a new tinted moisturizer the other day. So I went into Mecca and they gave me a sample of this Laura Mercier oil-free tinted one. Um, and I've been really enjoying it. I need to go back and purchase like the actual product because my sample is almost out. Then I literally just use my hands to rub it in. I don't really like anything that has super full coverage for every day. Anyways, the lighting here is just not quite it, is it? There we go. Somehow this has turned into a little bit of a get ready with me, I guess. I just put some bronzer on pretty much all over my face because it is winter and my body has not seen the sun because the weather has been so bad here and then i just brush out my brow super quickly i'm not even gonna put mascara on today not feeling it my favorite lip balm i'm just wearing this jumper i think it's old verge girl i got it probably like two and a half years ago now um, but I just love the color of it. I just have a little black baby tee underneath. But my pants are from Athens. And then my shoes are Doc Martin sandals. And the best bit, my Lolita tote. <laughs> I just put my flowers in one of the vases I got out of the kiln yesterday and oh my god I'm so obsessed with this. I actually just made myself a little coffee in one of my new mugs um, and took a photo for Instagram but is this not the cutest little bedside setup ever? This is the bedside table that I made last week in my vlog. Um, if you guys haven't seen it I can link it down below but I'm pretty stoked with how cute she's looking. Also these are the flowers that I grabbed. Fast forward a day. Don't mind my sinuses. I have really bad hay fever. I just think it's because it's super dry and cold at the moment. But I had a super busy and kind of stressful day yesterday just packing the first lot of the orders. Didn't want to film anything until today, however, because I wanted to show you guys once I've like figured out a system. Realistically, it's going to probably take me three days to pack all of these orders. What I've found helps is getting all of the orders and then making the shipping labels for them first so that way i can set myself a goal then i grab all of the stock out and kind of just pile them i've well and truly taken over the dining room table but these are the orders that i want to do today there are still so many tote bags in here and then this bottom box down there is full of jumpers so these ones go in the packages and then this is what seals the tissue paper and then here's my beautiful tissue paper from no issue um, as well as my mailers. Manifesting getting a lolly to warehouse someday super soon because this is ridiculous. I'm thinking I might chuck you guys on a time lapse. Let me spit my game. You know that this room got me moving this way. You've been in the frame. All those things you do got me willing to play. Just a few steps from the door Watch for them bottle caps on the floor Puts me in the mood for something more Cause you're on my mind So I'll keep you in my memory Or you can walk this way towards me Darling, you're the only sight Done for today at least. <laughs> 
No. It is. Doesn't anyone ask, where's your handsome father? Hi vlog, say hi to my dad. <laughs> hi. <laughs> That's why, because you're all good. <laughs> Morning vlog. <laughs> you watch the engagement rise with that shit. Yeah. Alright. We are stepping up our coffee game in this household. I can't latte up for shit, but all is okay because I got these lint chocolate sprinkles. <laughs> so bad, but so good. Doesn't she look perfect? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Let's ignore the red face and sweaty hair. I just got back from gym and on the way home, I went via my peer box and picked up some packages. I thought it could be fun if we opened them together. This next package is from a little Instagram brand called Summer Tulips. Her note says, Hi Lolita, I've followed you since years ago and you have always been such an inspiration. I really appreciate your support and thanks so much for helping me grow my small business. I should probably show you guys before I rip it open, but this is the logo. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is huge and the perfect beach bag. I've been doing a little bit of shopping on Depop. I think I'm gonna do a Depop haul. If that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know below because I've been collecting quite a few things now. But I found this cardigan on there. It's from Lottie Hall, which is already one of my favorite brands. Um, but this was sold out in my size. So I wanted to try and find it on Depop and I did, thankfully. I think it'll look super cute with like a pair of jeans or just casual pants. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pillows inside this box. This package has come from a Melbourne brand called Homey. It's like six months delayed. I'm finally getting into um, making our house look nice. <gasps> How nice is this color? I'll show you guys the materials close up, but I got this blue color. Biodegradable plastic. We love to see it. Look at this pink one. This color is gonna look so good in my room. Yeah, I'm super impressed with the quality of them. Yeah. Yeah. And then I say the best one. I love this one so much. How nice is this? This isn't sponsored by the way. This company were just kind enough to send me these. They're an all Australian brand based in Melbourne and they actually only started in lockdown last year. So I have put the natural colored one here. I think it looks really cute. Um, I tried to put it upstairs in the room, but it just looks kind of funny because there are three different colored pillows. I probably should have better thought about that when I was ordering, but I'm definitely not mad about this. I like it with the blanket there. And then this is what I came up with up here. I'm so in love with these colors. Um, and I think the blue ties in nicely with some of the blue accents on my clothes rack. Before any of you guys comment, I know it's very girly, but Alex literally does not care. Um, I always ask him about stuff, like, before I get it. And he's like, dude, just get whatever you want. And when I don't have the pink gingham sheets on, it's not as girly. But yeah, I think it looks really cute. Some halloumi. <laughs> I fucked it up. And then this is some leftover beetroot juice that we juiced a couple days back now. But we made heaps, so it's lasted us all week. Look at the moon. So big. I feel like it's not even doing it justice. <laughs> it's actually like 6.30. myself in moisturizer lately because it is so cold and so dry my skin definitely veers on the dry side 
which is great until winter. <laughs> I literally had the hottest shower as soon as we got home and I've gotten ready in true Sunday fashion. We're heading to the farmer's market. Um, we pretty much go every single weekend for breakfast. They have really good food there. And we're gonna meet some of our friends down there. So that'll be a fun little morning. This is the fit. Well, somewhat, you can see. This jumper, I actually got it in Japan a few years back. And I've recently rediscovered it and it is so cozy.